Here's a quick explanation of the truth about bins in the data science module that we use in Data 8. Let's say I have some values, but I don't know what they are in advance, like 29, 22, 25, 24. I might have many more values, and I'd like to bin them. Well, you might think the way to do that is to figure out the minimum and the maximum of those values, and then create a range, and that range is going to describe the bins. But you risk leaving the last one out. Here's what I mean. If I write np.a range from the min of the values to the max of the values, I end up with a range that includes 22, but does not include 29. So now in my range, I don't have 29 represented anywhere. And that means if I take my values and put them into a table, and then I bin that, where my bins are this expression, then even though I had four numbers to begin with, I only have three counts because I don't have a bin that contains 29. Problem. This problem also shows up when I draw a histogram because histograms are just based on bins. And so the fraction that I have is 33% for the range 22 to 23. What the heck, we had four numbers and now we're down to three. Well, if you specify bins that do not include all of the values, then it uh, computes the percent per unit based on the values that are included in the range of bins that you specify. So how do you fix this problem? Well, if originally I had made a range that included 29 by adding a plus one there. So let's move that up there. Here's my new expression. I'm going to use that as my bins expression. And then you can see that there's a count for the 22 bin and a count for the 24 bin, a count for the 25 bin. And now there's a count for the 28 bin. Why is that? Well, this is the bin that goes from 28 to 29, and that's where it put the count. And so similarly, I could draw a histogram by adding a plus one there, and I'll get 25% uh, of the values fall in this range, and 25, and 25, and 25. Now this is a lie. These bins are supposed to describe the density of values in the range starting at 28, going up to, but not including, 29. But 29 is in here anyway. It's the reason that there's a bar here. Now the reason there's a bar here is because there isn't any other place for 29 to go. And since you specified bins that go from 22 up through 29, we don't want to throw out the value 29, that seems a little bit extreme, so we have to put it somewhere. So we have special meaning for the very last bin. The special meaning for the very last bin is that it includes its left bound and it includes its right bound. Now this isn't something I expect you to know. I just We added this feature because statisticians often do the same thing, and also it can be convenient to just add one here instead of what you should really do, which is add two. Now why would you add two? That's because you want your last bin to go all the way from 29 to 30 because that's where the count for 29 should go. And so as you can see, if you specify bins that go from 22 up through 29, including 29, it's going to have all four counts represented, but it will put the 29 count inside of the lower bin. If instead you have a range that goes all the way from 22 up to 30, which is the max plus 2, then the very last bin is defined by starting at 29 and going up to 30, and so the number 29 will end up in that bin instead of the 28 to 29 bin. So in my opinion, this is more correct. The right way to do a uh, range that extends all the way through your values is to start at the minimum value and then go up to the maximum value, add one because np.a range throws out the last value, and add another one because you want to specify that the last value is the end of the final bin. Now doing it this way is not wrong. There are reasons why you might want to do it this way. If you wanted your values to go from 0 to 100%, it would be weird to have a bin that goes from 100% to 110 or something like that. But um, if you want to really be consistent about what these bins mean, that they include the lower bound but not the upper bound, then I think adding 2 is a good way to go. In either case, 
not adding one or two means that you're going to leave out some number. Because when you do the binning, you end up excluding the final value of 29.